Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel and welcome back to another video. So you guys, we are doing our grocery haul. Here it is. These are all the things. Now this is just a random haphazard smorgasbord of all the things, randomness, because we honestly did not need any food this week. We have a ton of food in our house. However, uh, as it appears at the moment, we are looking to get some weather here. Uh, the hurricane, we know Hurricane Ian is popping through, is coming through up Florida, and now it's projected to, we're going to get some of the outer bands of rain. They have actually canceled school on Friday. Uh, as far as in person, we have a virtual day, so um, we won't be going into the building. And I wanted to get some things that didn't necessarily need to be cooked. I know it doesn't look like I got a, things, a lot of things that doesn't need to be cooked, but I got some stuff. So let me share with you what I got. I'm also doing cabbage soup this week. And so I needed to pick up a few things for that. And then I've just kind of decided that after my cabbage soup is up, I'm gonna just eat what I want, stay within my caloric um, numbers for the week and just live my best life, right? Because I keep um, taking things out, putting things in, and I just want to eat whatever I want to eat as long as I stay within my calories. I've actually even thought about going back and trying Weight Watchers because Weight Watchers let you eat whatever you want as long as you um, as long as long you account for it, right? Which is what any program really is. I was actually looking at something today that was talking about weight loss after 40 and there was like a little mini meal plan there and it looked really good, easy to follow. Chicken, a little rice or quinoa, I don't eat quinoa or rice. So I would just have cauli rice with broccoli and just a couple other little things that look pretty easy enough to follow. But this is what I picked up for this week. We are going to be going back to doing like some of the whole foods cause I just was, I experienced good thoughts or it was good on whole foods, but anywho. So these Yukon Gold potatoes for five pounds, they were um, $5.99, but they were buy one, get one free. So I picked those up just to uh, have in the pantry. Sweet potatoes, microwave sweet potatoes. So I can have a sweet potato, right? Even if I'm doing carb cycling and I'm having a, a high carb day, I can have a sweet potato. So what I thought I would do, I told the kids I would microwave a sweet potato and I would have like some meat or some beef or something. And I could put that over my sweet potato and that could be my lunch. Now that is a pretty substantial sweet potato. I mean, it really is. That should be enough to fill me a little butter, a little bit of um, meat, just some regular spices or whatever that's already in the meat once you do the meat. And that should be plenty good. So I got three sweet potatoes just to give that a try as far as lunches are concerned. Um, they were a dollar a piece, so I picked those up. I am doing cabbage soup this week. So today is day two, and so I am able to have a potato for dinner. So that was a dollar twenty-nine. Now, yes, I could have used these potatoes, but I was trying to my greedy spirit, I was trying to get the biggest potato that they had, and this was a pretty big one, and I picked that up. Um, these wasa crackers, I'm gonna use these with this laughing cow cheese. They were a little bit less than four dollars. Now this, I'm not sure if this rang up exactly right. I picked this up, it's the Supreme Triple Chunk Brownies. This said $3.79 at ring up, but it was in front of a ticket that said $1.25 or four for $5. So I'm not sure, I didn't argue over it. We just putting this in the um, pantry for holidays. I'm just trying to pick up what I can for holidays. These two, um, this Duncan Hines Dolly, Southern style coconut, as well as this perfectly moist um, strawberry supreme, were four for five dollars, so a dollar twenty-five each. Pick those up again for holidays. Plastic uh, trash bags were five seventy-nine. Then I picked up some of these crispy onions because I do plan to eat those on my potatoes. And actually, when I was looking at this, they only have three grams of carbs. I've stayed away from these just because I thought they were a ton of carbs. But only three grams of carbs, I can live with that. $2.99, I got the garlic pepper and just the regular ones. This is something that I saw. Um, 
These are puff buns, cheddar puff buns. I've made these before, but I didn't want to have to make it. And so for the um, convenience of not having to make it, $4.99 and you get eight buns, eight pieces. So it's enough to make four sandwiches. Solar Bread actually found this on sale. This is the cheapest I've seen and they didn't have it at Costco and it's way more expensive at Walmart, $3.99. So I picked up two of those. They'll go in the freezer. Picked up this delightful bread, uh, Sarah Lee. I think this was $4.79. They did have some buy one, get one free, but the carbs were just so astronomical. I don't plan to eat this, but Jackson will eat this. And I figured if for something, if for some reason we lose power or I'm not able to use the stove, peanut butter and jelly or um, sandwiches with meat and cheese. So that was my thought. Laughing Cow Cheese was three, four, ten. So I picked up one. Red grapes, because tomorrow is fruit and veggie day on um, cabbage soup. They were $1.49 a pound. Picked up two vanilla almond milks. There's one day that's milk and bananas, but I don't eat, I don't drink milk. Um, But this was $3.29 each for the kids. Gary's Quick Steak. This was um, right beside the uh, regular Steakums that they usually have on sale that was not on sale. This was 12 ounces, $8.99, buy one, get one free. One day this week is a beef week, uh, beef day. So I picked up this for beef day. And then I picked up these um, 12 pack cookie things for Jackson's, um, for him to throw in his bag for school. They were $4.99, which was a really good price. And then, this 28 pack of chips he was almost out of chips so i picked this up alana puts that in her lunch box as well so between the two of them this one was 16.99 for 28 of them but it was ten dollars and something for 18. so i figured this was the better deal both of them can share and that is what you know they're living their best life this cabbage i got that the other day so that was not from today but cabbage for the cabbage soup and then just regular cabbage just to have I picked up one thing of water. They were almost totally 100% out of waters. We do have water in the garage and I am gonna fill up the two water bottles that we have. Um, but everything you see here, including the water, cause I think that's the only thing that's missing, was $105. That's blowing my mind. That's $105 right there. Craziness. Anywho, I'm going to show you my pantry and my fridge and freezers and we'll talk meals. All right, so here's our condiment shelf. We pretty much have good condiments. I've got two things of almond, three things of almond butter. We've got oil. And then here I've got spaghetti, uh, spaghetti squash, potatoes, onions, and butternut squash. I'm going to use butternut squash just like I would sweet potatoes. So I have enough of that. Um, that's all the kids stuff, so I'm not going to have any of that stuff down there. Okay, here we have, um, these are pancakes from last week. This is chicken, 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 sausage. There's a whole rotisserie chicken in there that I probably need to cook. Um, sausage in here, collie rice, cauliflower, hamburgers. So that's in there. Chicken, Boston butt, cauliflower rice, salmon, which one day I could probably have salmon as well. Um, not sure what that is. Oh, that's pork. We did a Boston butt and we put some of the pork in there. We have butter. I'm gonna just use what's in there. All right, so let's talk meals. So again, I'm doing cabbage soup this week. The kids are doing, they're just eating regularly. I just made a decision to do cabbage soup just this one, seven days. And actually I'm doing pretty good. Um, wasn't hungry. Some days I do get hungry when I've done cabbage soup before, but I actually like the soup that I made this time. I don't really like the tomato base, which I love cabbage without any of that stuff. I can eat cabbage just by itself. 
So, but I actually did use the um, tomato base and it's not bad. So I was able to, I had cabbage soup today. I had some yesterday. Um, I also had fruit all day yesterday. And then I had this morning, I had cauli rice. I made like a cauli rice, cabbage, carrots, green bean, mixture, conglomeration situation. And it was, it was fine. Um, but tonight I can have a baked potato. So I'm planning on baked potato. Do I have broccoli? Mm -hmm. I don't have broccoli. So I got to find something to put. Oh, oh, um, hmm. I don't have broccoli. What can I put over it? I want to find something to put over my baked potato or to have in addition. So, um, Alana's getting ready to put the spaghetti squash on and I'll just have spaghetti squash. I got some Mrs. Dash. Like the salt-free seasoning, I got like a herb, garlic, and I've been using garlic. I haven't been using salt, so I'm going to use that. Um, I think we're going to bake the potato and then dice it up and then put it in some butter because I can have butter today just on the baked potato. Um, so I think that's what we're going to do. I'm getting ready now to have the rest of the what I had for lunch, which was mushrooms, cauliflower, cabbage, carrots, and like... um green beans. I made like a stir fry kind of thing all together. And that was really good. Um, day three is fruits and veggies, except a banana. I have some veggie stir fry. So I'm thinking about doing stir fry. Jackson's probably going to do hamburger tonight. So tonight is, um, tomorrow is veggies and fruit. So I have enough stuff for that. Friday we're off work, which is day four, which is bananas, all day bananas. Now, if the storm comes through and I have to change my diet for just that time, I'll change it. I plan to keep on keeping on with my routine, my program. But if I have to change because of whatever is going on crazy, we'll, you know, we'll do it. Day five is um, tomatoes and meat protein so i can do the tomatoes with the beef and or i could and i thought about just chopping up the look because i have the little grape tomatoes just chopping those up in like quarters or halves and just you know um we roast them they're really good roasted or to put them in with the beef and just cook it that way right so i could have tomatoes six to eight tomatoes those are the big tomatoes but i don't love big tomatoes i do like the little i will eat i can tolerate the small ones um, day, day six is protein and veggies. So again, I have salmon in there. I have chicken. I have beef. I have pork. So protein and veggies is day five. I mean, day six. And then day seven, fruit, veggies, or juice, right? So I can finish this out for a few days and it will be fine. I'm just trying to flush my system out. For some reason, my digestion is not digesting. But I will say this. Since I started taking the supplements to kind of um, regulate my hormones, I actually feel very good. I feel very good. And again, I'm not going to share what I'm using just because I'm not a doctor. I'm not medical. I'm not giving advice. I'm just sharing what I'm doing. I just Googled um, supplement to manage your, to balance out your hormones. And I feel really, really good. Um, it's helping me to just feel like I am back to my old self. I'm still, I still weigh more, but I'm still trying to um, do everything I can, of course, on my side to, to make sure that I am, you know, pushing out waste and that kind of thing. Um, walking, I'm walking a couple days a week. I walked yesterday. I'm not sure that I will walk today. I actually have a show to do tonight. I, I need to get in a few more steps. So I may go out and get the rest of my steps for 10,000 because I need to get my 10,000 steps. And I'm try, try to get 10,000 steps in every single day. The one thing I noticed though is when I'm working, my heart rate is not going up, but I am getting my steps in because I'm like this morning, my office is on the first floor, but I had to be upstairs for classes. So I actually take the stairs up and take the stairs down. Or if I take the elevator, because um, I was carrying something in my hand, 
um, I'll take the stairs down, right? So I, or I walk up to the office or I walk to the restroom. I'm getting my steps in normally every single day, my 10,000 steps, but I'm not burning calories. You know what I'm saying? My heart rate's not going up, 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 but I am moving. So I, yesterday I walked extra. I walked about 14,000 steps maybe because I took Jackson Taekwondo and then ended up um, dropping him off. And then I just walked while he was doing his class. So it worked out fine. I didn't walk overly fast. I just got out there because my hips, you know, I'm just trying to make sure that I I, monitor, I mind my hips because they have been hurting. They had been hurting last week a little bit and I just don't want to hitch nothing. You know, I don't want to pull something out of joint. So I'm doing that. But um, what I think is, again, I'm going to go back to just Whole Foods I'm going to enjoy food. I'm going to eat what I want. I'm going to work out when I feel like it. Um, or, you know, regularly get my 10,000 steps in. I'm not going to overeat, but I am going to count my macros. And I did a thing where I have my macros written out so I know how much I'm supposed to have. And then on the Fitbit app, I'm able to go in and track, right? Fitbit is helping me out so I can go in and track my food. On Apple Watch, I couldn't track my food, but on the Fitbit, I can't. And so that helps me out, honestly, to be able to um, make sure that I'm keeping a track. I do plan to take those chicken thighs and do them in the air fryer. So I'm going to clean them, coat them, put them in the air fryer for like some air fryer chicken wings. I mean, chicken thighs. I don't have wings, but chicken thighs. I'm going to use the same concept. Probably have to take longer to cook, but still, um, that'll be good. And then I can do mashed potatoes. Because even when we did Whole Foods and I ate potatoes, I still lost weight or I was able to maintain, right? Now, I'm hesitant and leery about saying I'm going to go back and doing the 75 hard, even though I want to try it again. But I don't want to say that because I don't want to restrict myself and then that's going to stress me out, which is what made my hormones go out of whack in the first place. So I'm not doing any of that. I go back to the doctor to, uh, Friday to... Weather permitting, I go back to the doctor Friday. We'll see how it goes. Anywho, um, the steak puts, uh, and tomatoes, that'll be one meal. I've got salmon in there, and I can have that with collie rice, and I have plenty of collie rice. Um, so it's just a normal uh, eating week for, you know, to stay on the healthy end. Lots of veggies, lots of fruit. Um, healthy lean proteins that's what we're doing this week as far as next week is concerned we'll cross those bridges when we get to them I'm not real sure so I can't really say hey this is what I'm going to be doing because I just don't know I know today is Wednesday so it's day two so Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday Monday will be my seventh day that'll be the last day so back on Tuesday next week will be the beginning of whatever I'm going to eat in the house, right? So again, what's in the house? I did see Fit Frugal Mom today. I loved her video. I'll probably try to share it if I can, uh, where she did her groceries for the month of September, where she only spent $168 because she was eating out of what's in her house. We have a lot of food in this house, and I need to be eating it. We've got some whole grain pastas. I'm going to just have whole grain pastas because we have it. Again, we were looking at some keto cereal. Keto cereal is eight, nine dollars for one box of cereal. And in my mind, I'm thinking I could get a bag of rice, I could get some beans, I could get some meat, and that could be three or four meals. I could get, you know, I'm just that one item could be so many more things. I could buy bread, peanut butter, and jelly, and and it lasts longer than the cereal would. So again, I'm always looking at ways to shape the budget and do, do those types of things. Food has been hard. Food decisions have been hard. I had cravings end of last week, earlier into like Monday, and that just happens. I don't have a uterus, but my body cycles, right? I still feel the cravings. Like if I were gonna have a cycle, I probably would be cycling now or soon, but I don't, and so I still get the cravings. So. You know, I have to deal with that. I can have a treat, but I have to manage the treat or I have to exercise and I have to make sure that I don't have more treats than I have anything else. Um, I do watch Nicole Collette 
she is in Canada. Her and her husband are in Canada. They lost a ton of weight. And she has been making, I watched a couple of her videos lately, and she's just been making dupes of all of her favorite foods, right? She did a dairy dream, dairy like a dairy queen blizzard, but made it for less calories and less carbs and, you know, using all of the, you know, substitute -y things. And that was really good, which I'm good at. I know how to do those types of things. So we're just doing all the food things over here, trying to make the best choices and decisions for our family. And we do pray that you guys are doing the same for your family. We do want to thank you guys so much for stopping by. If you like this video, be sure and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. We would love to keep you as a part of our YouTube community. Hit that little bell. That way you never miss an upload from us. Thank you again so much for stopping by. And we'll see you next time. Bye now.